Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah! Today, on this channel, we are going to talk about Mark Levinson. Mark Levinson isn't a friend of mine, no. He is the maker, the producer, the manufacturer of these babies. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay guys, yes, in the end I pulled the trigger and I got a Bluetooth headphone. Now, I must admit that this is not a normal Bluetooth headphone and we will see that in a moment. But I do want to say that in the end, if you have the cable, you have to pull it out, you have to put them in your ears, untangle them, or you have to connect it to something bigger like this, Found, find the place in the headphone, in the um, smartphone, and things like that. I just noticed that I wasn't listening to music anymore because in the morning you're pissed off for various reasons and you don't want more hassle. So I perfectly understand why these do make sense in the end. So that is the main reason why I decided to go in that direction, but clearly I did want it to get something of very high quality, audiophile quality, although clearly these are Bluetooth, which have their intrinsic limitations. But not only, we'll see, it can go beyond the limitations. Um, before jumping in and describing a little more the characteristics, I just want to say that I found these at a very good price. But the price is not cheap. I want to say this since the beginning, right from the start. These go for $9.99, dollars or euro, even though you can find some good, cheap uh, offers, sales, things like that. I got them at a very good price. In any case, let's try to understand a little bit better what these babies entail. Whoops, besides getting hit in the face. Okay, so um, I just want to say, I want to show you the main elements that come together with these before giving a little more info. Now here you can see this very nice box. I'm not going to do a classic um, unpacking. I just want to show you this way. Not a, I'm not going to do an unboxing. Very nice box, well designed. You pull it out this way. Here we go. Media should have done a true unba unboxing. This is not going to be simple. It has magnets to close the different parts. Here we are. Here you would find these. Here, as you can see. Um, oh, by the way, as you can see, these are gray. Um, there's also red and black. I think the red are Gorgeous, just gorgeous. So I, if you can choose, I can choose, go for those, in my opinion. In any case, whoops, is the microphone still going? Yes. Okay, so underneath this part, we have the pouch. And underneath the pouch, you have documentation, uh, microfiber to clean the, 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 all the parts and things like that. But apart from this, let's leave that behind for a sec. And we have this nice sturdy pouch and inside a quite good amount of accessories, I must admit. So we have this nice cable, which is a, let's see, USB-C type, which goes through a 3.5. One is very long and one is very short. This is the short one, this is the long one. Okay, now you already understood that these are not just Bluetooth. No, they can also go via cable, which I like a lot. So you have two lengths, which I like a lot, once again. Then you have this little micro pouch. I think you can see it stuck here. And you open this and you find the little baby accessories. You find a nice little cable, which is just a USB-C to USB-C. Or charging the baby and then the teeny accessories an adapter 
USB-C to USB-A if you need, if you have old computers, if you had plugs and things like that. A 3.5 adapter to a 6.35 millimeter to listen in other gear, professional gear. And a very nice touch, an airplane adapter. Very cool. All in aluminum. Very, very nice. Or aluminum, as you say in the US. Okay. So I think it, these cover uh, the most important things. I love the fact that you have a double type of cord. A small one when you go out and about and you want to use a cable. Or a long one if you're sitting down. Good job, Mark Levinson. Okay, so apart from that, let's try to understand what are the main characteristics. Afterwards, the specs, but main, the main characteristics. No, now, first of all, it has the most important certification, I think. The LDAC type of codec, which is the best of the best. The only one that can bring you, can uh, deliver 24-bit, 96 kilohertz, resolution sampling rate high res music okay because if you have other ones which are certified uh, aptx aac they're going to deliver a lower quality okay still good I, I trust i test them all tested them all but clearly if you have high res music with this type of resolution and sampling rate the ldac you have to enable the phone it's not going to be automatic i had to navigate a little bit in the different sections to, to, in order to activate it. Not that simple in my Android phone, but it's doable, it, absolutely. It has a 20, 40 millimeter beryllium, which is one of the best materials for drivers. Coded drivers acoustically optimized for the Harman curve. I don't know if you know what the Harman curve. It's something I'm not very fond of, actually, but it's something broadly adopted in headphones manufacturing. It's practically an equalization that they give to headphones, a lot of headphones, developed by Harman International, which covers in globes also Harman Kardon, the famous hi-fi label uh, manufacturer of the 70s and things like that. Well, still, still existing, actually. And this curve practically uh, slightly enhances, boosts the low end and makes and does the same but in a smooth way with the high notes. Okay, so we have this type of curve. I'm going to put an image because it changed th through time. Uh, they say they claim a lot of manufacturers use this because it just delivers a better sound for headphones. But clearly, you are modifying the, the sound, the music, the way it is. So, let's remember that. Also, because when you enhance the, the lower and the higher register, you're clearly somehow cutting off a little bit the mid frequencies. Which, once again, I'm not that crazy about this. In any case, it has clearly an adaptive active noise cancellation. Three different modes. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe I haven't used them in an airplane. When you're in an airplane or very, very noisy environments, then it's cool. Or if you want to take a nap, <laughs> that's also useful. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's better going to go in passive mode. In fact, I want to say right from the start that if you use the active mode with noise canceling and things like that, the frequency response drops to 20 hertz, 20 kilohertz. While instead, if you use the passive mode, it goes from 10 hertz all the way up to 40 kilohertz. Fantastic frequency response. With, I'm, I'm, apparently I'm giving you all the specs, with only 32 ohms, which is pretty good for, um, for a, a pair of headphones, the impedance. You can pair it, translate it, you can pair it easily with a lot of gizmos and things like that, no problem. The sensitivity is pretty good, 98 dB. It's good for a headphone. Again, it's more easy to pair. It needs less power. It's just easier to, to use. There's also this ambient aware mode, which actually you can hear even better what's happening because when you put these on, and even in passive mode, they close, this is clearly a closed back 
type of a headphone. It closes a lot of noise. I mean, you really isolate it in passive mode. So I like that a lot, but maybe somebody is a little bit scared. He can't hear a motorcycle or a bus or something when you're walking around. So there's also this. It has four microphones if you want to do phone calls. I already told you about the colors. The battery. The battery, at least in my lifestyle, lasts very, very much. Here they're claiming 34 hours of life. Probably even more, I think. Uh, with 30 hours of playtime with the, the, the active modes enabled. So it drops four hours. Uh, if you give it five, 15 minutes when it's dead, it'll give you six hours of playtime. So you just need 15 minutes of recharge and you're good to go for six hours. Not bad. Otherwise, it, it takes around 100 minutes, I remember, to do a complete charge. We've seen what's included. I told you the price. The other specs aren't very important. I can tell you it's not that um, heavy. It's 340 grams, so I think it's pretty light. When I have it on my head, it does not create any problems at all. It moves nicely with me. Now it's not that stiff, but absolutely. It doesn't create heat on my ears and it doesn't have pressure or weight. So very nice. I'll put the rest of the of the um, of the other uh, specs here and let's start to discuss a little bit. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to say that clearly in these high end models and not only I mean, in, in, it's trendy to have the application which enables you to update this clearly the, the headphones. Now it's scanning for the device and also tailor the sound if you want. See, select your device. Continue. And it's paired. Yeah, your device is up to date. See, it says that. Okay, let's try to see in settings. There you go. I think you can see it. I keep it in neutral, otherwise you put it in enhanced mode. Bass enhanced. Where you have more bass. There you go. Otherwise attenuated where the bass instead is attenuated. Yep. Put it back to neutral. You can select the different modes when you turn on the, uh, the baby. If you want it already ready with the uh, active passive uh, active uh, noise reduction or the awareness mode, you can have it already installed. You can also select the timer if you want to auto turn them off. And you can also have the on head detection. Now that's cool because uh, if you're meeting someone along the road or you just have to interrupt the music and you don't want to look for the little knob here, you just take them off your head and they automatically shut down. There are some problems when you have a coat, a hood or something. At that point it doesn't work because it senses the hood and it turns off by itself. That's my experience. So if you are with a t-shirt, perfect. With a coat, big collar, no. Nah. Uh, one thing I don't like is actually these small little buttons, which I try to have to remember what the what the function is. Uh, I mean, it's it's decent, the, at least the turning on and the modes here. While instead, the other ones, the the volume and pause, are much more difficult to reach and select. So I'm not completely crazy about this part okay it can be better and i'm not that crazy but that's a personal opinion about the aesthetics they're nice but uh, i mean there's so many cool things out there now could be better in my opinion um this is leather very nice very soft uh, i'm sure even the, the other parts i mean the, the cost is quite high and let's talk about the sound now when you use them in Bluetooth mode, around and about like this, considering it's a closed back dynamic headphone, I'm pretty satisfied. It's Bluetooth, it has its limitations, blah, blah, blah. And I would, I don't know if I have to give a, a scale, a vote or something, I would say out of 10, it's a seven. Which increases, the quality increases clearly when you use a cable directly connected to your source. That, at that point, it goes 
a little higher, let's say seven and a half, maybe even eight. I mean, the, the quality does do a, a big jump. Not huge, but it does do a jump. So clearly, um, a specific type of music. I mean, if you're li just listening to rock and pop electronic, it, it's not going to make that much of a difference. If you instead li listen to classical music, jazz, then that cable, perhaps in your home or, or in, in your office, where you it's it's not a pain in the ass to use a cable, then at that point, might as well use it. If you're out and about, no, just go with with your Bluetooth and be happy with them. Okay, guys, I just want to say that I am not, okay, because I am clearly transparent always with you, as you know, I'm not an expert of these type of, of headphones. I don't have other types. I did try some in my life, here and there, friends and things like that, at a, of a lower type, lower models, lower budget. So this is clearly at another level. But I know how headphones do sound, good headphones. So in the end, I think a comparison is valid. My, you know, I'm not an expert, once again, of wireless headphones and things like that, okay? Okay, guys, please leave your comments here below. You know I'm interested in other types of high-quality headphones or things like that with or without passive active modes but bluetooth okay bluetooth they have to be they have to be thank you again for watching and remember that music is born analog in these drivers right here bye well guys if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below also don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community